Hey Siri. Yeah. What time is it? It's 5.07. to a weekend in my life because a day in my life is too boring <laughs> and a week in my life is i don't know i just think the entire week can be summarized into like my weekend really so yeah today is friday the 29th of september and uh, yeah let's go to work not just spiritual things that you have to have you also have to have physical things and I used a lot of things yesterday a lot of it was applying to ministry about how that you know people say they're just trusting God but God doesn't counterfeit money this is something that it took me a long time to understand but you know people say they're just believing God for finances and they're expecting it to drop out of the sky or they're waiting on their ship to come in but they never send a ship out you need to recognize it's not totally spiritual there are also natural things that you need to do the scripture says deuteronomy chapter 28 that god will bless what you set your hand unto but there's a lot of christians that are praying and asking god to supply their needs but they aren't setting their hand unto anything and you put that together with second thessalonians chapter 3 i believe it's verse 10 that says if you don't work don't eat And I'm not seeing chicken breast. This is so annoying. No. Should I have chicken breast from what I understand? Should I just bring a more chicken? Good morning! <laughs> so I did not check back in yesterday, Friday. A lot just happened. But yeah, today is a new day, 30th of September, the last day in September. Thank you, Jesus! And yeah, October starts tomorrow. Am I excited for the last quarter? I'm just glad that we're finally getting to it and we can get it over with, basically. So yeah, I ended up making the chicken. I just fried it lightly and made pepper chicken, basically. I will show you that in a second. And so yeah, it's time to get breakfast. I got free of fair this year. Hey! Yeah, this is how it feel. Ah, uh, my dear. 
It's a major thing. Prayer. Prayer no work. Prayer. You don't even know. My heart's, my heart's strong. It'd be like, this thing not even strong. <laughs> my wall. Yeah. Is that rejection? I, it's fear. I, I, I was just always afraid that people would leave. So even whilst you guys were engaged, and I just, kept married, just felt like one day, one day he would bail. Leave. Funny enough, prior to our, our wedding, so many drama came up. Family drama. They didn't want me. They didn't do this. They didn't. So a part of me just felt you are going to yeah. leave. You get. So I, I became numb. He entered into marriage. That numbness still entered. Oh, sis, let's talk on that. Yeah. You know when you face some level of trauma that you've now put mechanisms to shield yeah, yourself. Yeah, co- it's codependency. Your so by the time that you, mechanism, yeah. you're not, I mean, when a good thing comes, you're just... I remember speaking with Dr. Adam. I remember my friend. And I said, it's too good. Oh, let me tell you. My best friend was one of the first, Janet. She was the first person that like screamed at me. So, because I'd been saying no, saying no, she knew Samuel. You get so she was one day she just asked me that she told why she was just asking playfully that well, why can't you date him? What's the big deal? Is it the age and everything? I didn't know when I split it out. To be true. He loves me too much. I was used to auditioning for love. I was used to working for love. I can't work that one. I can't handle it. <laughs> Let me sip small tea. <laughs> this is my reality. <laughs> I can't handle it. See, so. But who be this guy way? Any small thing. Yeah. What do you need? What do you, Guy, first calm Did down. You, I don't know who I was telling oh this thing. If you too love me, I did run. Okay. <laughs> if you overshow me love, I don't waste. <laughs> it's too good to be true. So yeah, I bought this keg of water because they said apparently you're supposed to take two liters of water every day, right? And I tried to take it seriously sometime last month. But you know that I don't understand. The more you drink water, the more you use the bathroom. So my question is, are you really dehydrated? Do you really need that much water if the body's response to the water is to go and waste it? Are you following me? But so yeah, like this now, this was what I drank yesterday <laughs> at the end of the day. And I thought I was supposed to finish this every single day. But every time I finish this every day, I'm going to make a lot of trips to the bathroom so does the body actually truly need the water or is it just another thing that science i mean i'm waiting for them to come tomorrow and say oh it's actually not true like science can be exhausting sometimes just believe in jesus that's the only person that has not changed for the past ten thousand years It's a no. Eggs are one of the worst foods that you can eat. They are a prime food for viruses, cysts, tumors, and even cancer. Never tell people to eat oatmeal. Oatmeal is for, for horses, maybe, probably not even for horses. that cause joint pain and that can even lead to kidney failure when you eat lots of green smoothies. What the? Why you stop drinking water and why you should too? Part four. So I'm still gonna go in now with my blow dryer. Yeah. Oh. Get ready with me in the family. <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to wear um, traditional to church. <laughs> and tell me why I'm just gonna grab, you know, any one of my Ankaras 
But then, I get into my box and I suddenly remember that two months ago when I went home, my mom gave me this. <laughs> so yeah, that is why I'm laughing. I don't know if I, it will make it out of the door. But let's try to wear Iro <laughs> and Buba. So yeah. The funny thing to me about Iro and Buba is close to like 15 people can wear. Only one person. Let me take this off because I, I don't want to look like it. Okay. So clothes that like 50 people are supposed to wear. <laughs> Only one person <laughs> will wear it. Now, in all fairness, this coat is my mom's clothes, and I didn't even remember. If I remembered, I probably would have, you know, slim fitted. I mean, I mean at least fitted it like to my size. <laughs> okay. Anyway, now here we have this. So, let me see. You know, I actually do not look bad. Okay. So let me see. I think I should just thumb this around. Okay, so Everything is terrible, actually. Okay? I feel like I can make it work. <sighs> yeah, I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> okay. I think I'm just gonna tie this right here. I don't think it looks terrible, actually. Right? I absolutely do not hate it. I do not hate it. I can't wait to do my mommy a picture. <laughs> well, I am already hot, Jesus Christ. This is the part where your partner is supposed to help you to tight. Oh my God. So I feel like I did not open my legs. Well enough. terrible actually I mean you can tell that if this was a little bit you know sized right it would be better but it's not it's not the terrible it's not the worst thing in the world it actually is not I'm really no I'm not going to put this up I've always had this one. It was something. One of these in my box there. Like you know those clothes that you, you know those clothes that you find inside boxes. Exactly. That's what this really is. Do we think? Do we love? I'm not tying it. I don't think I have the energy or the strength to tie it. But it's actually not terrible. It's not. Let's wear my hair in. Have a seat. I'm finally mastering the art of wearing necklace by myself. Oh, I did not because now it's, it's back to front. I wondered why it was so easy because it used to stress me. Okay, so we have this. Okay. So, okay, so yeah. And of course, a little bit of jewelry. What do you think? Should I tie the gilly? My problem with tying the gilly is like my church in Abuja, they are too Gen Z for my liking, okay? It's all English. Like you wear, you know, traditional clothes and you will be like the oddest person. Like you could literally be the only person wearing it in like a sea of like 500, 700 people. So yeah. If I tie this now, I will be. I definitely will be the only person, but I'll take it with me if I find out that somehow somebody caught anybody else, you know, 
it's twinning i probably will in church so yeah we're ready oh my my shoes i have silver shoes i will show you guys the finished look later So I just go back from church and if I when I tell you that then I tell you that I am genuinely shocked at the amount of compliment that I got wearing this era booba. Like I had to sit down in front of the air condition, yes. <laughs> but I genuinely look good, okay? Oh my god so yeah i just had that sumptuous meal and i will now round off the vlog if you enjoyed the vlog please let me know in the comment section so that i can you know add it to the things that i think i, I want to start trying a lot more content and really actually be more deliberate about growing this channel because i feel like i'm finally at the point where i'm embracing being a creative <laughs> i feel like i should explain that statement Okay, so stay with me. So basically, my creation journey or my creative creativity journey can be set into like how many phases? A couple of phases. Whenever when I finish saying everything, we'll, we'll know how many phases. So first of all, it is the realization or non-realization phase, right? And it's not so much as the fact that we didn't realize it. And when I say we, I'm talking about my parents my guardians my teachers basically everybody who had the opportunity to speak life into the child the little lz the little lizzie or in, the little elizabeth basically because tell me why it was obvious that the only time this child seems to shine quote and unquote was when she was singing when she was dancing when she was talking when she was debating oh my god <laughs> debates <laughs> when she was debating when she had to do a play right i would never forget one particular one in senior secondary school for instance right when we were supposed to do this um play this play by i think do you allow to me Right, the uh, he was going to marry his mother and kill his own father. The gods are not to blame, right? So I was the queen in that in that play, and my principal comes to the rehearsal. I think I've said this on the channel before. And my principal comes to the rehearsals, and the next day on the assembly, this man was just gushing about how amazing my act was just the day before when he was at our Ria's house, right? So it's obvious, anytime I'm doing press club or reading the news on the assembly, my physics teacher will make an entire drama every morning. I've said it on this channel before. So basically I'm saying everybody sees all of this. You're commenting on all of this. You realize that this girl is a creative, but somehow that realization is not impacting the life choices that you are guiding me through because tell me why and tell me what exactly i was doing in biological sciences class biology physics and chemistry student and i was struggling and there was nobody like nobody i do not remember having a single conversation with any of my parents or guardians about the fact that okay i think this is not your strength this is i don't think we even had school counselors there anyway basically that was probably like the first phase like all of that time throughout university it took me i'll probably do that as a different story time you know on its own but by the time i finished uni it was obvious to me now i mean my life is now in my own hands right it was obvious that i had no business with everything that i had been doing for the past 10 years this uni and then i stumbled on social media management that was 2019 
I stumbled on social media management and I'm thinking, okay, we can do this. Is it to take your story, the story of your business, you know, the story behind what you're doing and put it into small bite size? I was good at it. Okay, so I'm like, yes, let's do this. Designs I was doing, I, I, I learned Canva by myself, okay? It was, it was smooth. Uh, so I, I was doing that, then, you know, service year, I continued throughout service year, and yeah, I was supposed to just completely launch it after service year. Now, service year was 2020, and that was actually when content creation actually became a, do you realize that content creation was not a name, right, until 2020? right and the whole thing blew up from the pandemic mm, because i don't want youtube to flag my video with one nonsense nonsense right so you get what i mean by the pandemic mm, <laughs> right so i'm doing all of that in 2020 i'm like this is what i'm going to do once i'm done with service i'm going to go into this full time right and there are a lot of mistakes that i made which i will probably talk about in another video if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section but basically i got into some serious serious trouble that really just set me back terribly right and eventually i got into abuja and i just felt like see we're gonna have to do what we have to do until we can do what we want to do so now realization stumbling into it there's also the part when even when i stumbled stumbled into it that like i said it wasn't until 2020 that content creation became an actual thing I also probably did not like the way creativity was synonymous with being broke <laughs> and being unserious. I think Salem even still said this recently and Salem is literally somebody that is even already making it from content creation, right? And he's like, sometimes I don't like the fact that I could be in serious work and it just looks like I'm just on my phone. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, it just looked unserious. Okay, so there was also not enough of the confidence, you know, to just break through the fact that it looks like I'm just wasting time, right? Because especially since it wasn't paying me yet. Do you understand? So like I said, I went and got a job. Now I start doing this job and I realized that, like you saw in the early part of this video, I'm working a job where I'm in front of a freaking desk from morning till night, till, till evening, every single day grateful for my job don't get me wrong it pays my bills okay so now like i said i'm coming from realization and realization not influencing my life's choices then i'm getting to stumbling into it and seeing that it's kind of a serious let's go get serious with life now i, I try to get serious with life and i realize that life is actually not all about serious things because there's zero fulfillment doing this thing if i do not do what i really know i mean do what you have to do but don't forget what you want to do because by the time you wake up in another five ten years the fulfillment of your life you don't want to wake up with regrets now i'm looking back at just three four years now and I'm, I'm having serious regrets now i'm already dreading having you know double this level of regrets in another five years okay and one of the ways that the holy spirit started to really help me with this was you see that validation that it felt like nobody validated and that life that nobody spoke the only spirit was now you know was helping me to deal with that recently and i don't care if this doesn't even make sense to you but i'm going to tell you regardless that do you know what you mean every time you say lz because now when i say i am lz i am lz it carries a deeper meaning and let me show you what it means you see the word l means god right and initially Especially when Imago Day, Imago Day was trending, it felt like, oh, we're just gods, we're like our gods, so like we're in the image of God, you know, that kind of thing. So I am LZ. Do you understand? But then the Spirit was like, the first attribute of God that we're introduced to in the Bible is that God created the heavens and the earth. You are not just Imago Day or in my image, you are in the you you have the attributes of creating you are a creator you know how this guy says god is a designer i would say god is a creator you know and in that way i am a creator so when i say i am lz i started to realize that that was god's way of calling out and calling forth the creativity that it just feels like there you know has just not been affirmed the validation that the inner and little little child in me did not hear 
every time i now say i am lz every time because now it's a it's a name that everybody calls me now it's like every time anybody says that to you lz lz they are telling you and they are speaking over you that which you truly are so little by little i started to really understand that okay this is not just it's not just random that you know i called myself lz it was actually deeply spiritual and i hope that sounds as awesome as it sounds in my head I started to understand that okay there's nothing i'm going there's no way i'm going to find fulfillment outside of this person that i actually am and i really need to just come to the point where i truly and fully embrace it right and just make it out of this awkward phase where it just looks like oh you're just dragging content creation with gen z's now i mean i'm looking at people that we started together in 2017 2018 and i started and stopped started and stopped started and stopped so many times god who and now it looks like I'm out here struggling with people that are just starting out where we're actually not mates, quote and unquote, right? Because you know that guy that says, I just blow, but I know my set. Me, I never blow, but I know my set. Okay? So now I enter this realization and now I'm angry that, man, I should have just stuck with it in 2017, in 2018, in 2019. Now I'm angry and now that anger is even now starting to hold me back again so how many phases are we at now right now the anger started to hold me back now and i was just so much deeply in regret that i would have been at like 50k now now i'm now like okay you are mad at the fact that you didn't start three years ago or four years ago or you didn't stay with it consistently four years ago but you are now you are you are in a current position now and in another five years you will look back on this position that you are in now and you'll be mad that you were mad instead of getting to work do you understand so i'm finally like okay yeah december has passed has passed right now go at it and just be sure that in the next five years when you look back at this moment you're not thinking about what you should have done what you could have done and if i look back it will not be that oh i didn't do something or i didn't commit to it or i didn't give my all to it right and that's just finally where i'm at like i'm going to fully embrace this and i am right here <laughs> fully fully embracing it now <laughs> and i know i've been rambling but i hope i made sense <laughs> Whew, that was a lot <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs>